Budget bills normally set expenditures against revenues for the coming year. But not Bill C-38. This behemoth bill amends, repeals, and creates a shitload of laws designed to shock Canada out of 80 years of progress. The sneakiest line in C-38 is definitely the Fair Wages and Hours of Labor Act is repealed. With those 10 words, the Depression-era law mandating federal contractors to pay fair wages and overtime is kaput. No need for thanks, SNC-Lavalin. Just send a check directly to the 2015 campaign. Of course, contractors will have lots of takers for shitty jobs when workers stop getting EI. C-38 lets Harpo's cabinet cappy make up whatever rules they want about what suitable work is and what reasonable efforts to find it actually means. Of course, Finance Flaherty already said there are no bad jobs, just spoiled workers. But the good news is, you won't be competing for jobs with skilled foreigners. Uh-uh. C-38 tweaks the Immigration Act to wipe out 280,000 skilled worker program applications. Now you'll just be competing for shit jobs with unskilled foreigners paid less than minimum wage. How awesome is that? As promised to banksters in Davos, C-38 is the writ that won't quit. And neither will you until you're 67. Not if you need your old age security, that is. But C-38 doesn't just encourage the work ethic. Oh no, this baby also plows through environmental red tape faster than a drunk tanker captain through Prince William Sound. Environment Canada's program for measuring the quality of effluent discharge from mines and pulp mills will be flushed like last night's vindaloo. The Fisheries Act will now only protect the habitat of commercial fish. So you can frack for gas or pump mine tailings into pristine lakes at will. As long as you don't kill a salmon farm, you're golden. The Canadian Environmental Assessment Act is repealed and replaced with a Screw the Environment Act. And if anyone gives a shit, Cabinet can overrule them, retroactively. As for Kyoto, come on. And under C-38's new Nuclear Safety Control Act, environmental assessments for nukes become the chore of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. This is awesome, because this commission has never actually done an assessment. But it's not like nuclear science. In another triumph of red tape cutting, National Energy Board reviews, including the Northern Gateway Pipeline review, can now be reversed by Cabinet. So, listen to the foreign-funded eco-terrorists all you want. The bitumen will flow to China. Holy canola! The Canada Seed Act gets popped with a 38 Special too. Now, Canadian Food Inspection Agency seed inspections can be outsourced directly to Monsanto. And how about Parks Canada, eh? 30% of the parks workers will be cut. Only you can prevent forest fires. Literally. In all fairness, the Harpo regime did allow a subcommittee to review 170 of C-38's 425 pages. But three cabinet ministers read lengthy statements at the first committee meeting, leaving a whopping 20 minutes for questions. But it's all about perspective. You don't want to think of C-38 as a budget bill petro putsch. Think of it as a time machine taking you back to a future like Canada's good old days. You know, when it was a dirty, inequitable backwater of the British Empire. Good thing massive CBC Jubilee coverage crowded Quebec protests off the air, eh? Otherwise, we might all be banging pans. In Toronto, for Apple TV, I'm Umberto Da Silva, not Rex Murphy.